For some, this is just a bridge they use to go to work. For others, this is an object of historical significance. Hey everyone, it's Cashew. Today's adventure brings us to Covington, Kentucky to the Roebling Suspension Bridge. Behind me is the Cincinnati skyline, and over here is the John Roebling statue, and this is the man who designed the bridge. And one of my subscribers suggested I do this for a vlog, and I wasn't sure if there was much to say about it. And once I start doing research, there's a lot to say about it. So let's get started. Our adventure starts here. Next to the Roebling statue is this historic plaque that reads, Roebling Suspension Bridge, first bridge to span Ohio River connecting Kentucky and Ohio. John Augustus Roebling, engineer. Amos Schenkel, president of Covington Cincinnati Bridge Company. The formal opening of this bridge celebrated January 1st, 1867. A prototype for famed Brooklyn Bridge, the suspension bridge remained open during tragic flood of 1937. Roebling was a German immigrant who studied in Europe and came to the U.S. in 1831. In 1856, he started this bridge. At first, there was opposition of having this bridge built. People in both Cincinnati and Covington were concerned that they were going to have business taken away from them. And as you can see, they had nothing to worry about. Next to Roebling's statue is this facsimile of the plans he used to build the bridge. Some refer to this bridge as the singing bridge because of the noise it makes when cars drive over it. They ceased building this bridge in 1858 due to financial panic, and then in 1863, construction resumed. This is the oldest bridge on the Ohio River, and as I mentioned before, this is the model for the Brooklyn Bridge. And what's rather sad is that though we have a lot of monuments and plaques here in Covington commemorating this bridge, in Brooklyn they have none. During his career, Roebling built 10 bridges and only three still exist today. The two towers are 200 feet high and they're made of sandstone and limestone and they sit on wooden footers that measure 12 feet thick, 80 feet wide, and 110 feet long. And you may wonder why the wood does not rot, and that's because it's waterlogged and oxygen cannot get to it. Roebling's influence of Romanesque architecture is shown in the arch that he put on each tower, and then he capped them with these Greek crosses that serve no function other than being decorative. While on a different job site, Roebling injured his foot and lost a couple of toes. His foot became infected, and in 1869, he passed away from lockjaw. When he died, Roebling was only 63 years old. Roebling's son, Washington, completed the construction of this bridge, as well as the Brooklyn Bridge. As you can see, this is no ordinary bridge. This is also a monument to a man who showed tremendous ingenuity in architecture as well as engineering. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. In the description box down below, I'll have links to my PayPal, my Patreon if you'd like to contribute to the channel. And I'll also have a link to my Teespring if you'd like to get some Cashew Paul merchandise. So until next time, everyone, this is Cashew signing off. And this is the building where the bridge company conducted business and Roebling had an office.